Hi everyone and welcome to the video. If you don't know me, my name is Alex and I'm the mum of a three-year-old and a 10-month-old son, both sons. Today I'm going to talk to you about how we toilet trained my son, my three-year-old son, within seven weeks. So no, this isn't your video on how to train your child in three days. There are so many videos out there I found on toilet training your child in three days or in a short period of time. So I wanted to give a real, what I think is probably a more realistic or normal time frame, or one that gives you a sense of, okay, you know, let's just take this easy and not feel so pressured or like you failed if it doesn't happen in three days. I am just a mum and this is my experience of navigating the ups and downs and challenges of toilet training. We started out, it was very, very difficult, but within seven weeks I have a child who is taking himself off to the bathroom unprompted for both number one and number two. So in this video, in the first half, I'm gonna give an overview of our experience. I'm gonna cover it briefly, but I'm gonna include my experience as well. The things like the anxiety, the confusion, the, yeah, the confusion over not knowing which method to do, the boredom of it, the feeling of failure. I wanna cover those things because I wanna normalize them. And in the second half of the video, I'm going to give 25 rapid fire tips from my experience that I think you might find helpful. I'm gonna try and get through this fast so it doesn't take up too much of your time. So let's get into it after I have some more coffee. All right, so one of the reasons why I wanted to document the challenges around toilet training is because I think it's very easy for people who have toilet trained their kids to forget how hard it was. I completely acknowledge that for some children and for some parents, this experience may have been really easy and may have happened like that, may have happened within three days and good on you, I'm really happy for you. Um, but I also think that it's very, very easy to forget how hard it was. I actually took notes on the first few several days of potty training in my phone and I've written there things like this is hell, this is so bad, this is you know the worst part of parenting so far, I'm so confused, blah blah blah. Like it was not a fun time. But when I went back and read over that a few days ago, I had forgotten about a lot of the challenges that I had experienced. I think when you're entering toilet training and you hear from, you know, your parents or friends, yeah, I think it happened just like it just happened. It wasn't too bad. When you hear that, but you're not feeling that, it makes you really doubt yourself. And so that is why I want to tell you that I think it's very normal. So anyway, um, let's just do a broad overview. When Jed was two years old, we introduced a step ladder with the potty seat and we used to put him on it every night before the bath. Nothing ever happened. He would giggle, laugh, nothing ever happened. We weren't consistent with it and we ended up stopping it after a while because it, he would just get in the bath and wait in the bath. I had heard of many people that you should wait until they are ready to toilet train. I interpreted ready as the child is literally going to walk up to you and say, I don't want to wear nappies anymore. Or I want to wear nap I want to wear undies now. Literally I thought that's what it meant by ready. And I think a lot of people do think that. But ready should actually mean capable. If this sounds familiar to you, this is something that Jamie Golacki says in her book, Oh Crap Potty Training. We very, very loosely took concepts from a video I saw about, about that method to start training. And that's one of the things that she taught us is that, sorry, I'm just gonna wait for the airplane to go overhead. So yeah, in her video, she says that 
Ready doesn't mean the child is literally going to walk up to you like that. It means are they capable? Are they, you know, do they have language skills? Do they hide away in a special place, in a, you know, in a certain place to do a poo? Do they show interest in the toilet? That's what it means by are they ready? So anyway, we could have toilet trained him ages ago, but we didn't. Um, we happened to come across Jamie's a little abridged version of her course in a presentation. And in that she said that there's an ideal window for potty training and it's something like between 22 months and three years. And don't quote me, but I think it's to do with the child's willingness to possibly comply or follow instructions. I might be making that up completely, but I it sort of makes sense to me. Like when you have an older child, they develop more of that sense of self and wanting to have power and say no and stuff, which can make the process a little bit challenging. So anyway, we saw that and we're like, oh, well, we've missed the window of opportunity. We should get onto this. We decided to loosely follow the oh crap potty training method. To give you a very abridged version of this, that is, she, hers is like a three day, three day potty training method, but one day is really a block. So however long it takes to do the first block might be a few days or a few weeks, whatever. Anyway, you start off, start off with the child naked and then you move to commando and then you move to um, underwear, etc. I'm not gonna go into that because this is not a specific video about that method. Um, so what we did, day one, he just got up and we said, we're not gonna have, um, we're not gonna have nappy today. And surprisingly, he was on board with it. And that sort of made day one instantly feel like a success because we thought he was gonna argue us on that. So the method of having the pants off is to, so you can put the child on the potty to catch the wee, to show them where it goes. And because if they've got the nappy on, you can't see when they're going and same as when they've got the undies on. Um, day one went okay because we were able to successfully get him on the potty a couple of times. And the fact that there was wee in a potty, it was just super, super exciting. So yeah, um, we blocked out a few days where my husband was at home with me and where we didn't have to have commitments. And we essentially just sat around all day inside watching Jed staring at his bits and pieces waiting for him to need to go to the toilet and I'm just gonna acknowledge this that I found it really weird to have him sitting around naked not because I'm weird about him being naked it, I think because of his age it just felt slightly undignified for him to have him just having to sit around the blocks with his bits and pieces out but anyway day one was okay Day two was tedious because we were already getting over just sitting around on the floor all day watching and waiting for a wee. And yeah, so that was kind of painful. Um, day three, I believe we were feeling very confused about our method. I had been, I had asked questions of others. Some of my friends seemed to just go directly to undies and their kids learned that they didn't like that feel and they had success with that. I was beginning to question whether we should be using rewards, even though the oh crap potty training method isn't, isn't against that. Um, so I was feeling super confused and I was doing all sorts of research. And also it was the third day and he hadn't done a poo and he usually goes every morning. So I was stressing about that. He was walking around on tiptoes, which is a sign that they need to go. We were worried about his discomfort. He was telling me that his bottom really hurt. Um, I think uh, it was day four or something. He actually did, no, day three or something. He actually did take himself and sit down and successfully do a wee on the potty when we weren't watching, which was like, oh my goodness, we thought we'd won the lottery. And then day four, I think it was, I'd managed to catch him at the moment of starting to poo in his spot that he usually used to stand to do a poo in the toy room playroom and i put him on the potty and he managed to get some in the, 
get the poo in the potty and it was like the most ex one of the most exciting days of parenting ever like literally we were so excited and um yeah so that was sort of how the first week kind of looked we totally skipped the part of i think we even went to undies because he was telling me like day four i want to wear undies and we kind of just did it because I was confused about the method and we just did it. Um, and then he was just basically having accidents weighing his pants and that was pretty much how that was going. The next week we actually went away on a holiday and we did a mix of pull up and undies. We were very flexible. We tried to sort of stick with it where we could but we weren't sticklers because we couldn't be. So just to flash forward, the next few weeks after that were definitely a mixed bag. We were mostly finding that he was just weeing in his shorts and undies and it was very frustrating. It seemed as though he wasn't even interested in trying and that he was very, very happy to just go in his pants and that he wasn't bothered. And yeah, it was just super frustrating. Oh, before that, before we went away, I think it was day five, we actually introduced Jelly Beans reward system, one for wee, two for poo, because I'd been Googling and found so many parents just said it worked for them. And I went, look, to hell with the high road about not rewarding. I'm over this. I can't keep doing this and dragging it out. I just need to try it. So we did. Two things that sort of changed the game and things started going better was that we took away the undies and just did commando again and we also introduced um an alarm for so previously we had been kind of asking him if he wanted to go to the toilet and then we just introduced telling him he must go to the toilet and we also introduced an alarm through alexa you know like a google home and she would do the alarm and that would be jed's signal he had to go to the toilet he would not usually take himself off to the toilet we had to tell him it's toilet time at the beginning he complied because it was amusing because it was a novelty um but then you know we found we had to talk him into it a lot of time i would have to say when you go to the toilet then you can have your snack or when you go to the toilet then we can go outside and play or you know if you don't go to the toilet it might be embarrassing if you go when we're out or um, just I was just pulling things out of the bag not necessarily rewarding him or bribing him but more sort of saying when you can do this then you can do this thing that you would normally do anyway but yeah you get what I mean just to backtrack a little bit into the experience like at the very beginning of toilet training he was wanting us to sit with him at the potty um, and read him books and stuff and i didn't know whether to comply with that because i wanted to support him and be with him but i didn't want to sort of commit to something that we weren't going to didn't want to get into a requirement for him long term so we sort of did it a little bit for the first few days but then we um we stopped doing it and and just phased it out i suppose and I would just say, I would just sort of blanket say, no, you can have some privacy. I also forgot to mention that we, after about a week and a half, so it was when we came back from our holiday, we stopped using the potty and just started using the toilet with the stepladder and um, the ring thing, uh, the kid seat around the top. Um, so anyway, so back to the present the sort of around the three four week mark or up to five i reckon it was we were having success in him going to the toilet um he was still uh sometimes doing poos in nappies in the morning like but not always he was doing some poos on the toilet it was a mixed bag and then what we found is it was just getting so much work to coerce him into going to the toilet i was just over it and so what we did then was or what we were doing was gradually ingre increasing the length of time between reminding him to the to go to the toilet so originally i believe it started off at 45 minutes and then 
gradually we got it up to the two hour mark but for a long time we were stuck on about an hour maybe an hour and a half and then we just suddenly went to two hours and that worked a lot better because we were just pestering him too much and then um then one day he suddenly came up to me and said i need to go to the toilet and i was just having my lunch minding my own business and he goes um i need to go to the toilet and i went okay okay great i try not to make a big deal about it but i was like okay cool and i went and made sure that the toilet was in the right place which it usually is and he went and he goes he goes i did a poo i get two jelly beans and i was like so so excited that he finally had told us that was the first time he'd ever come up to me and actually said I need to go to the toilet before he went and from that point on it wasn't like an instant okay we're home and hosed it was from then on he gradually increased the times that he would um, tell us that he needed to go and then I think um, after about a week or two of that we we were just getting we were only reminding him every couple of hours but he was getting annoyed annoyed at us and we felt like we were in a power struggle and he was just saying no i don't need to go and we were saying my whole line the whole time was it doesn't matter if you need to go or you don't let's just try and see because it's better to go on the toilet than have an accident but yeah he was just getting over it too so what we did we just uh, we said to him, Lindsay, uh, we said, that's my husband. <laughs> we said, you know, Jade, you're going really well with the toilet. Um, it, we're going to stop reminding you because we think we're probably annoying you now. And it, now it's your responsibility to keep your pants dry. And so when you need to go to the toilet, you need to take yourself to the toilet. And that was a really big boost for him. And so he, yeah, now he is you know he's he stops what he's doing um he gets up he says i need to go to the toilet he takes himself to the toilet um he's had a couple of accidents but more more or less he's going super well in terms of reminding him i am reminding him if it's been a really long time between going like a few hours or I am requiring him to go if we're going out. I'll be like, we're going out now. You need to sit on the toilet so we don't have to find a toilet when we're out. Or, you know, um, before nap time, I will require him to go and before bedtime. So there is that still little bit of, um, little bit of prompting, but he's more or less got it. I might actually break this into two videos because otherwise it's going to be way too long so thanks for watching this video and i will record the next tip video right now and post this in a second video so thanks for watching and find the next one and i'll see you then bye